Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for March 16th. March 16th is the 75th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 76th in leap years with 290 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is spindle. Spindle can be a noun or a verb. As a noun, spindle can refer to a stick or a pin used to twist the yarn in spinning or a rotating shaft that serves as an axis for a larger rotating part, or a piece of wood that has been turned on a lathe. Such a device that has been turned on a lathe might be used as a baluster or a chair leg, such as that. In biology, spindles are tiny fibers that radiate from two poles and meet at the equator in the middle. As a verb, spindle can mean to give the form of a spindle to, or to shoot or grow into a long slender stalk, or grow a stalk or a stem rather than flower or fruit, to provide or equip with a spindle or spindles, or to provide or equip with a spindle or spindles. This word comes to us from Old English with Indo-European roots before that. I'd like to take a moment to mention that links to my sources are included in the show notes. Ask you to go ahead and click that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with others. You can do that with the link in your email, messaging, or social media. I do have a This Day in History playlist. I'll be sure and link it up in the corner for you up there. You might be hearing birdie sounds. I'm outside today recording. Lovely day. It's uh, 77 degrees here. With that, we are going to start with the birthday of James Madison, born March 16th, 1751. He's often referred to as the father of the Constitution. He played a pivotal role in drafting and promoting the Constitution of the United States and the Bill of Rights. Mr. Madison lived to the age of 85. This is the birthday of George Ohm, born March 16, 1789. He was a German mathematician and physicist, and he was interested in the electrochemical cell that had been invented by the Italian scientist Alessandro Volta. Mr. Ohm discovered that there is a direct proportionality between the potential difference, voltage, applied across a conductor and the resultant electric current. This relationship is now known as Ohm's Law. He's also known for other physics laws, and he lived to the age of 65. On March 16, 1802, the Army Corps of Engineers was established to found and operate the United States Military Academy at West Point. Robert Goddard launched the first liquid fuel rocket at Auburn, Massachusetts on March 16, 1926. By the way, NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center was named in his honor. This is the birthday of comedian Henny Youngman, born March 16, 1906. <laughs> Known as the king of one-liners, probably his most famous joke is, take my wife, please. <laughs> Henny Youngman lived to the age of 91. This is the birthday of Pat Nixon, born March 16, 1912. She was of course, the wife of President Richard Nixon, and she lived to the age of 81. On March 16, 1935, Adolf Hitler ordered Germany to rearm in violation of the Treaty of Versailles. He's kind of building a, a habit or a practice of violating the Treaty of Versailles, isn't he? He followed this order up, by the way, by reintroducing conscription which is compulsory enrollment, particularly for armed forces. On March 16, 1936, warmer than normal temperatures rapidly melted snow and ice on the upper Allegheny and Monongahela rivers, leading to a major flood in Pittsburgh. The Battle of Iwo Jima ended on March 16, 1945, although small pockets of Japanese resistance persisted. March 16, 1968 was the day of the My Lai Massacre. Between 347 and 500 Vietnamese villagers were killed by American troops in that massacre. We've mentioned this event in other places in this day in history as well. 
March 16, 1995, Mississippi formally ratified the 13th Amendment, becoming the last state to approve the abolition of slavery. No worries, though, because the 13th Amendment was officially ratified in 1865, once the substantial majority consisting of three quarters, or 27 of the then 36 states, had ratified it. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something you didn't know before. I know I sure did. I always do. <laughs> Again, links to my sources are in the show notes, and I'll put that Day in History playlist link up there in the corner for you. Alrighty, I guess that's it. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Order up, by the way, by reintroducing. He followed this order up, by the way, by reintroducing construction. Ninety-five Mississippi, Mrs. <laughs> okay, okay, we got to make that go to sleep. We'll do that in a minute. All right, let's back that up just a little bit. The Volkswagen Microbrus, my, <laughs> the Volkswagen, so many mistakes. I don't know how all that's going to go together or if it's even going to make it to the video. We'll just see. That's not going to go. Probably cut all that out. That'll all be laying on the cutting room floor. <laughs> so I'll just do that whole thing over. <laughs> that might not make it into the video. We'll see. Changing it up.